Keep the ball moving. We haven't seen Baldwin put it on the deck as much. Oh, I'd love to see him go that jump hook after that move. I'd like to see him do that. I'm calling that before it goes in because I've seen that jumper before. So DiVincenzo taking the playmaker role with Jordan Poole sitting, Steph sitting. Baldwin, dude. My goodness, see? Yeah, this kid can just what that brings you in terms of quickness and cross your constantly moving the ball. So similar concept. Patrick Baldwin Jr. dropping in the three. Talk about moving the ball. That's what created that one. His brother became a movie star in the offseason and the hustle. The movie hustle, which was excellent with Adam Sandler. I still haven't seen that. I need okay, to see there it. we go. PBJ with that three-point stroke. And just the, the the biggest surprise in the NBA, I think, the Utah Jazz. They're just having fun playing three. They're one of the best offenses in the league. And PBJ knocks one down. Of course, Stan was the coach the last time we've seen that kind of ball. That's I don't, just for the Warriors. And I, and I liked how he deflected that right there. That was a great explanation. And you don't want to bring people in where everybody's cold and give away this game as Baldwin knocks down another one. Continuing to get it done. It's almost the best thing you can say about a program, and we hear it all the time from NBA coaches as Patrick Baldwin sticks a three. Shoots over the top of both guys. He's shooting 57% for the year. Moody on the kick out. Baldwin didn't catch it cleanly, but made the three anyway. Those are the. It's actually above his brother, which is crazy to think about. He just shoots it way less. Uh, this kid's going to be a really good three point shooter. Patrick Baldwin Jr. dropping in another three. Baldwin Jr. again. Markeith Morris. Missing there, Wiseman the rebound, and well, that's the point and the date we pointed to when Sacramento put up 153. Baldwin Jr. remains perfect. Well, Wiseman went seven of seven in the first half. That's his first field goal attempt in the second half. Baldwin Jr. has it stuck on automatic. His previous career high had been seven in the first half, but you would have won that. PBJ! Full floater. Tipped up and out, Looney grabs the rebound, and Walker Kessler said no. Patrick Baldwin Jr. said yes. Well, I'm just talking about the guys in there, no, too. No, I know. Like I'm just saying it's like, as well. it, it's, it's remarkable the Warriors are down six. Patrick Baldwin Jr. Atlanta's got a lot of pieces. In the last couple of years, they've been 16 and 20, and then kind of closed the second half of the season with a flurry as PBJ hits the jumper. Now, I don't want to speak this into existence, but what I'm enjoying about the Warriors offensively, they've committed only two turnovers so far in the game. And Patrick Baldwin Jr. hitting the three. EBJ three. How about the 28th pick in the draft? Along with Jalen Suggs and Terrence Ross. So it's like a hockey change for both teams. PBJ off the bench into the bucket. He hits a three. Perfectly set up for the two possessions to end the quarter. But you got to get one up. And PBJ three. Right on time. Involved in the action. Came off that handoff with a lot of speed. Think Lamb, about Lamb, Wiggins, Steven Chenzo, Patrick Baldwin Jr., Ty Jerome. PBJ lasers another three. His third of the night. That's when this game was decided. The Warriors have actually outscored the Bulls as Patrick Baldwin Jr. hits a three. From the first quarter on, the three quarter. I, I really enjoy Kevin Love as a person, a player, and like you said, the role he has with his Cavs is just terrific. And he can still play. He's embraced it. PBJ with a three. Gave up two points off turnovers. Right. And, and think about the looks you're getting against the second best defense in the league. Why is that? You're continuously breaking the paint relentlessly as Patrick Baldwin Jr. keeps it going. Games with their group, even though they didn't really have Russell for long tonight. They've had two games and they've been two impressive wins. But these are the games you have to win right now if you're the Lakers. Approaching the four-minute mark, all Lakers here in this fourth quarter. Baldwin, he'll let it fly and he'll knock it down. I tell you, Baldwin, he's 6'10". He can shoot it. It has been a struggle. They were able to turn it on and have a great playoff run last year. But in the other two years, not even in the playoffs. Patrick Baldwin hits another three-pointer. But James Harden had to get up out of there. 
Warriors have found their rhythm from three-point range lately. That's helped, too. Patrick Baldwin Jr. right off the bench and right into the bucket as he drops in a three. So the 13-point lead's been trimmed to four, but the Warriors' shot selection played a role in that. But if you're Patrick Baldwin Jr., anytime you're open, you are the shot selection. Nix is actually a pretty good shooter. He can drive it, pretty good playmaker. He's going to get penetration. He's got enough quickness. Patrick Baldwin Jr. catching two three off the pool creation. Pool, 100 miles an hour on the draw and kick. PBJ mid range. Even Chenzo batted it out. Another opportunity, PBJ three. Scoring the basketball, yeah. offensive rebounding, running the floor, setting screens. Tillman just picked up his third. That's a long shot put up and in. I think about the Warriors. What they had to do to win the championship last year is going to be as PBJ knocks it down. Now, there's a sportsmanship aspect when you're up 147 to 91, but the Warriors are four threes away from the NBA record. Uh, three threes away from the NBA record.